Hey guys, for this trick we will use three ropes of different length, a long rope, a medium rope, and a short rope. And spectator, you can examine that long rope and you can examine that short rope and you can examine that medium sized rope and give a tug and a pull and make sure they don't stretch or come apart or anything abnormal. And I will take these back from you. Thank you very much. And we've got the short, the medium, and the long. But I almost forgot for this first trick, it works a little bit better with three medium-sized ropes. So maybe I can give these uh, a little bit of a magic stretch. And that should give us three medium-sized ropes. That's one, that's two, and that is three medium-sized ropes. Yep, I think that will work. Now for the next stage, I forgot, but we actually need a short rope, a medium sized rope, and a long rope. So if you could just imagine that one of these is actually the long rope again, and then maybe by magic it'll become the long rope, and then this one will become the short rope again, and this one will, well, it'll stay the medium sized rope. But you can check those out and examine them, and guys, let's learn this trick now. All right, guys, I love rope magic. I think it's one of the most underrated and underutilized forms of magic there is. And it's something that's great to add to your repertoire. I think this is one of the best rope magic tricks out there, if not the best. Uh, it uses three ungimmicked ropes. Even if you've done this trick before, you know this trick, uh, stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna offer many different uh, endings as well as different ways to do some of the common moves uh, so it'll be like almost like a little mini master class and uh, i'll go over the shoulder next so you can see everything that i'm doing in detail and this is based on the classic trick uh, called professor's nightmare involving three ropes and this is just a great one so uh, let's dive in and check out the details on the ropes first First, let's talk about what you'll need for this trick as far as the rope. Uh, and you're going to need a long piece. And this is just magician's rope. I'll leave a, a link in the description where you can pick up some. Uh, this is going to be a long piece, a medium piece, and a short piece is what you need for this trick. And I'll give you the dimensions. The long piece, uh, what works for me is 47 inches. The medium piece is 26 inches. And the short piece is 9 inches. Um, another way you could uh, possibly do it is for the long piece you can stretch your arms out to about 45 degrees from my body almost forming like a Y and then the tips of each finger are touching the ends of that rope and that's the length of the long rope for me and for the short rope uh, it's running from about my middle finger to about an inch below my palm Another way you can get the length right is to basically create a hook like this with the short rope over the long rope, which is divided in half. And the width or the length, I'm sorry, of that should be the same running down as the medium rope, just about. And that'll give you the right dimensions that you need if you want to. Um, do dimensions that are different uh, from what I gave. So that way you can figure out what would work best for you. Another trick that I learned, uh, this was actually from Daryl, I believe, in one of his uh, rope magic videos, but he talks about you can uh, actually dip the ends of the rope into glue, just regular Elmer's white glue, and allow it to dry. And what will happen is this basically hardens and you can't see it, but it will keep your rope from fraying. And that will make your rope last so much longer. Otherwise, the problem is, is the ends will fray uh, fairly quickly a lot of times. And uh, I found that to be the best solution. I think sometimes people will tape it off with, with uh, duct tape or something. But I found that this, this is just the best way to do it. Uh, also, candle wax. Sometimes people, will, I've heard, it will use candle wax instead of Elmer's glue. So... Um, those are good ways to basically keep your rope lasting as long as possible. Now let's go over the back so you can watch how this trick works. 
All right, so here's how this trick is going to work. Um, you're going to have your three ropes that you're going to display and allow the spectator to examine them. Uh, in the performance, I didn't have a spectator, so I threw them over my body. But uh, anyway, you'll hand out the long rope first, and then the uh, short rope, and then the medium rope. And you're going to take back the long rope first and you're going to place it into your hand like this so it's kind of starts more in the middle and ends up uh, crossing over to the index finger with about that much of the end exposed and you're going to take back the small one next and you're going to form an X right here and then all you're going to do is as you turn your hand upward you're going to basically rotate this part inward and you're going to flip this part up like that as you come up and it's completely hidden don't think anybody will notice that and of course you want your hand kind of flat um, so they're not seeing this happening necessarily but you're going to do it quickly so you don't just don't have it down like this where you're showing them oh i'm making an x you know kind of have it up here do it right here so that's not exposed and then you're just going to do the motion of coming up a little bit more and flipping those so this is what you have going on and you're going to uh, hide that behind your fingers so they won't see that but basically this looks this is going to look like this is the long piece running down and this will look like it's the short piece although it's not as you can see but it looks like that's one end of the short piece, that's the other end. And then you're going to take back the medium rope and place it all, place it kind of in the middle there and have them all lined up and then you can show them again as short, medium, and long. And in order to do the stretch move, here's what you're going to do. You're going to have your hand up, watch the performance if you need to. You're going to grab this bit with your thumb and index and you're going to wrap these fingers around these two pieces and you're going to allow you're going to pull here you're going to pull your arm towards you or i'm sorry it'll be actually going kind of down from the audience view and you're going to allow these ropes to basically slide through those fingers while you keep a hold of this rope and as you do that it looks like you're kind of stretching them all to the same length until you get down where they're about the same length and then you can let them go and dangle like that. Of course keep your hand covering this bit right here and it looks like you have now got three medium sized ropes. And here's an alternate way you can get into that uh, initial setup position and what you're going to do is you'll take back uh, all the ropes and you're going to keep the long rope here on the right side and put the short rope here in the middle. And what you're, you're going to have them all even up here. And you'll just kind of pull this one up and then at this, which is, this is the short rope. You're going to pull this up here and then you'll grab this one and pull it down and try to do it quickly. It'll look like you're just kind of adjusting it. And then you're back into this position where that looks like that's just the short rope coming down. Uh, I prefer that other method, but this is a, an alternate one. All right, so the next part is where you are going to display all the ropes as medium-sized ropes, uh, drawing them into this hand. And it's a great illusion. It looks exactly like you're showing all three ropes separately as medium-sized ropes. Uh, this is probably the hardest part of the trick, uh, sleight of hand-wise. And you don't act, have to have it, uh, but it dramatically adds to the effect if you do. So it's definitely the best move, I think, of this whole trick. So what you're going to do is you're in this position. You're going to come and you're going to grab the medium rope. You're going to pull it out like this. You're going to try to do this same kind of motion of pulling out every single rope the same. Now here's where the sleight of hand is going to happen. You're going to clip these two fingers under here 
you're going to come in you're going to pinch this rope like here between the index and thumb you're going to basically deposit it here into the crotch of the thumb which is going to grab it at the same time you're going to pull you're going to come and grab all this little piece up here like this with these fingers and you're going to basically pull this out and through and you see how this little bunch this little bit up here is being disguised behind and hidden behind these fingers and you're going to pull that through and that's going to look like you're showing the second rope but you've just switched it and then you're going to do it this way and you're going to come back and grab the final rope and pull it through the same way and it'll look like you just have shown all three ropes and you're going to keep this bunch hidden behind uh, here behind your fingers another way I've seen of doing this part is to basically um, you're going to clip this rope like this you're going to come in with your right hand and you're going to deposit that rope back here and clip that between the index and middle and then come back grab that and kind of pull that through and you'll have to work on that as well and get it up to speed and then you can come and grab this final rope as well so that's another way you could do it one final way I've seen of doing this move but it's my least favorite way but you may prefer it is to basically just come in and just just drop that just deposit it and then just grab this little bunch and again pull it through the fingers like that that's another way you can do it and then finish up all right so for the final move um, you're going to transfer this over to this hand or you could keep it in this hand if you prefer I'm just used to it doing it in this hand so I'll just kind of transfer it over keeping this part hidden you can even turn and display if you want as long as you keep that part hidden uh, and so what I did in the performance is you're going to grab one of the pieces of the long rope and I use the pattern of imagine this is the long rope all you're going to do is you're going to pinch here these two ropes on the left and you're just going to basically just drop everything like that flick it all out and it'll kind of look like it all just kind of magically transforms in an instant and you're clean at that point everybody can investigate everything and I'll give you a alternate ending that you can do instead all right so another way you can do the ending here is to pull this rope up to here on the left side and then you can pull this rope up to here and this rope up to here so those two ends to the right side and then you're going to hold on to these three with the thumb pinching here and you're just going to uh, let go and it'll look again like everything has kind of uh, transformed and I'll show you what that looks like now all right so here's what that will actually look like in performance uh, you'll be in this position you'll pull one up here and one here and one here and you'll say drop them and they'll all kind of magically fall into the different links so that's the alternate I just showed you another way you can also end this trick is to say you know I don't understand but this one's now the short rope this one's now the medium rope and this one's now the long rope and I'll show you how to do that now all right so for this third ending you'll be in this same position and you're going to just pull all the ends up here and this works because nobody can keep track of what ends or what anymore 
and you'll just start out by grabbing the short one, pull that out, and then you can grab uh, any of the other ones, preferably probably the medium one, pull that one out, and then the other one. And uh, that'll end the trick there. All right, guys, we'll hope you enjoyed this trick. This is a classic great trick in magic. And uh, if you like it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up as appreciated and, and comment and share this and let me know what you think. And guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.